Hello, thanks for tuning in. Are you a gardener who's done and added just about everything and still can't seem to get your garden to grow? Or maybe you're a seasoned grower who's looking for that new thing to really bring your garden to the next level. Well, microbes, specifically mycorrhizal fungi, may be just the thing. Join me, we'll explore this tiny soil organism and how it can benefit your garden. So what is mycorrhizae? Well, that's a good question. Many of you have heard of this mysterious root fungus, but just don't know what it is. Some of you have even tried to pronounce it. Well, technically it's called mycorrhiza in the singular or mycorrhizae in the plural. And it describes a symbiotic fungus that forms on the roots of plants. It literally means fungus root. Myco meaning fungus, rhiza meaning root, and it describes a fungus that lives on roughly 90% of the world's plants. Think about that for a second. Plants in their native environments are covered in this stuff from the roots down. Maybe you've seen movies where trees are all connected and plants are communicating in a forest. Well, that's actually how it works. And the mechanism that it does this by is the mycorrhizal fungi. Maybe there's a lesson in that. Maybe killing and destroying our soil is part of the reason our gardens aren't thriving. I mean, take a look around the forest. It's certainly not lacking for any fertilizer or water or anything else. It just grows. Let's dive a bit deeper. For starters, mycorrhizae grows on the roots of plants, and it helps them acquire minerals, nutrients, and water from the surrounding soil. In exchange, the plant feeds the fungus sugars from photosynthesis, thus making it a symbiotic relationship. In fact, as I said before, plants can even communicate through this mycelial network, as it's called, or as I like to think of it, the internet of the forest. It's estimated that roughly 80% of the root mass in forests is actually fungus, and only 20% is the roots they're attached to. Plants that form with this beneficial soil fungus include everything from corn, to soybeans, to tomatoes, to succulents, to roses, and even giant conifer trees. Okay, okay, so this is a cool story, but how does it benefit my garden? Well, first off, it's gonna lessen your fertilizer and water needs, which is huge. Your roots will be stronger and able to do much more with a lot less. This also means less fertilizer being washed away into local creeks and streams, a benefit for your neighbors and the local environment. Inoculating with mycorrhizae has been shown to lessen transplant shock, enhance heat and cold tolerance, and even enhance the root system. Simply put, your plants are much better off with their fungal allies. You can use it with any fertilizer, compost, or amendment you're already using, and the plant will be better able to absorb it. In fact, the fungus will actually secrete enzymes and exudates that will break down those amendments faster and make them bioavailable for the plant. And yes, you can use this stuff on your house plants, succulents, your vegetable garden, your flowers, your trees, really anything in your garden. And for the small percentage of plants that don't form with the mycorrhizae, they will actually see a benefit from the bacteria. The notable plants that don't form are azaleas, rhododendrons, and brassicas. But like I said, feel free to use it, sprinkle it on, they'll actually see a small benefit from the bacteria. So how do I use it? Well, for transplants, you're gonna to wanna to use our Plant Success Organics granular. You sprinkle it in when you're transplanting the plant and get it right on the roots, right down into the hole, get some nice coverage, make physical contact with the root system. For existing plants, you simply mix up some of our Plant Success Organic Soluble, teaspoon to a gallon, very easy, and then you water that down into the root system, making sure you get that physical contact once again, inoculum with the roots. It's as easy as that. That's it for now. Stay tuned for more in-depth videos about soil biology and organic gardening. Please consider subscribing to our channel for more garden science, tips, and tricks. And hit that like button so we know you enjoyed the video. Thanks for the support and keep building your soil biology naturally.